So we had to leave them in the van. There goes my hat. I don't know how I feel about it, but I'm gonna go for it. Rowan found one. Oh, it's it's by, oh. by the that's they why got they him. Our next stop is the Trappist Monastery, and we are right here outside the church. So I'm gonna head in. Hopefully, I'll get a chance to meet with one of the monks and say a little prayer. We'll see. So I went into the church, wrote a little note, a little prayer, and I put it in the little petition box. Queer Mark rang the bell. I don't know if that's to call the monks and see if there's anybody available to come out. It's so peaceful out here. It's one of the things that I love and my family loves most about being in the province is there is such an incredible sense of peace out here. It's amazing. But first things first, you know, we gotta keep vlogging, keep traveling, keep showcasing so many uh, beautiful things about the Philippines to our viewers, um, doing more for the communities out there. So many hopes and dreams that both Brian and I have. The Trappist Monastery is run by monks of the Stercian Order of the Strict Observance and are best known for their extreme austerity that characterizes their discipline. We met one of their monks here, Brother Peter. Charming and delightful but we certainly didn't expect this. You have me about my, yeah, your my, my video. Yes. The name of my video is Peter Discovery Channel. Peter is Discovery Channel. Channel. Huh? Yes. You have my, my videos. I invite all the people in California to see my videos. Everywhere, throughout yeah. the world. Especially the mothers who are fun of making, of cooking, huh? Oh, do you cook? Cooking. I love to cook. Filipino food is my favorite. The monks here earn a living by selling souvenirs and food items at an on-site shop. Don't forget, yeah. <laughs> follow Peter Discovery Channel follow on YouTube. And subscribe and share it to your friends. So we stopped at the stand right here, sort of in the area where the monastery is, and Atende just found a green mango, so she bought one. Oh, you got too many. There you go. Oh, I love sour mango. Mmm, that's so good. That makes me happy. What about you, Kiss? <laughs> He's just mm. Mm. It's perfect. Mess it up. Thank you. In the back? Or on the mango? Oh. A little spoonful of bagoong, a fermented shrimp paste widely used as a flavor enhancer here in the Philippines. Do a slice, yeah. Just a little bit of bagoong for you, Case. Yeah. Okay. There. He said it's too sour without the bagoong. <laughs> Better now? Ooh, I can smell it. <laughs> You like? <laughs> it's too potent. That one is very strong. Quieres más? Okay. No, he wants more. Apparently, Kaysen really liked it. It's so sour. I like the bago on to even it out with the bitterness and sourness. Bago on is a bit spicy. There's like chili peppers or something in there. Really good. I'm gonna double bag this right now because it's extra stinky and we're getting in the van. So I took a bite of this one earlier and it was, it's the sweeter version of this one, which is the super sour one. You can tell by the color. This one's a little more yellow, this one's more green. Try this one. Mmm, but it's so good. I love sour mangoes. They're my favorite. We are now at Raymond's restaurant where we're gonna have our lunch before we go out on the boat. You're gonna narrate your brother eating the mango. Here is Roan in his natural eating habitat, eating his favorite fruit of all, the mango. I see why it's called soupe. It's super good. That's why. <laughs> okay, now let's eat some of this pancit molo. It's a soup. <laughs> we said it together at the same time. They have a bunch of different additions, including bangles, chicken tenders, garlic rice, pancit, and more. Hey guys, today we have pancit molo, which really surprises me because I did not expect it to be a soup. It looks like egg drop soup and it smells like chicken sotahon broth. All right, so we got lettuce or cabbage, some tomatoes, and then there's this like show my dumpling thing. Mmm, mmm. The cabbage is like super crunchy and crispy, along with a little gyoza dumpling or shomai. There's something in there that it just soaks up all the juices, and it was super tendery, juicy, and soft, and it's super rich in flavor. I would compare this to an egg drop soup, mostly because it does have egg drop in it, but this is much different. The best way to describe the flavor is like a very subtle chicken broth. I do want to second what Kaysen said. It is very similar to an egg drop soup um, in terms of the texture 
texture and the flavors that come along with it, but the addition of the vegetables and those wontons in there, I think it kind of levels up egg drop soup, and I would have this over egg drop any day. It's perfect. Tyson found a puffer fish, but it's not alive. Natago Beach lives up to its reputation as a secluded paradise tucked away from the bustling world. The absence of crowds allows for uninterrupted solitude, enabling visitors to soak in the natural beauty that surrounds them. This is a place where time seems to stand still, urging you to embrace the slower pace of life. Another hidden paradise, another beautiful gem of the Philippines. We're out here at Natago, Natago Beach Resort. Uh, Natago in Ilongo is the word for hidden. A short walk up this small hill, Atene shows us the island's accommodations. No electricity, so you could stay here up to 12 people for 7K. Only these amenities. We stopped here at these caves and um, Brian and the boys jumped into the water and they went snorkeling inside of this cave and they came out on the other side. So it was really fun to see them. They're like my, my little fishies. I'm just not a big snorkeling person. The cool thing is they just told me that they saw a bunch of bats in those caves. Brian said you could actually smell it first and then you saw them, so interesting. Like Rowan said he smelled guano. Hey guys, quick shower. Next up, the Manga Island Cafe. Hello. Hi! Woo! <gasps> Dragon fruit cheesecake. Oh man, mango muffin. Oh, I'm gonna get in trouble right now. Well, I think we need this mango calamansi jam. Mango Island Cafe. So, Ate told us they have a mango coffee here. Locally produced Carabao milk. All right, we're so lucky. We get to see the owner here. What's the specialty here? Your number one seller. Mango pizza and mango island coffee. I really want to try the mango cheesecake. Wow. Oh my gosh. Mango iced latte. Wow, that is so different. I really love the contrast though of that sweet, sweet mango with that bitterness of the coffee. And I think they said there's carabao milk in here. Super creamy. All right, so we just got our desserts. We got the mango sansuval and the mango cheesecake. And if you guys want to see the full review on this, make sure you go to Kaysen's Instagram. We'll go ahead and put it here in the information for you now. Um, we are so lucky to have Atene as our tour guide because she brought us out here another extra stop, the Mangahan Manga Festival. Festival. So they're kind of still setting up. It's not completely ready yet, um, but we're going to kind of walk around real quick. And then we've also got the I Love Gimaris sign out here to check out. That's a big mango. Mango's Super Galila. Aww. We're here in Guimaras. Oh, yummy. All the yummy snack. No more snacks. We have so much snacks. Always a uh, pasalubong. Everywhere we went, she always had pasalubong. Mmm, green mangoes. Woo, mango shake everywhere. It's like little mango heaven. We could sit here and eat all day. We probably would, but. Hi, Ade. Hello. So right back here behind me is basically like a line of the different mango vendors. They got the yellow mangoes, the green mangoes out here, and they've got these really cool little Guimaras mango, five kilogram mango boxes to carry. I wish we could take one back, but I'm gonna behave. Don't We've had such an much. incredible time out here today. I am super grateful to Athene for being our tour guide. She's been fabulous. We did, again, as I said earlier, book this one through Kluk. I will put our affiliate link in the description down below for you as well. So anybody else who wants to use Kluk, definitely check out that link. <laughs> we don't need one of those. Ask Daddy if we need a mango magnet. 
as the sun sets on this enchanting island, I find myself reflecting on the unexpected impact this move to the Philippines has had on me. Beyond its pristine beaches and lush landscapes, it is the spirit of the people that resonates deeply within. From the resilient mango farmers who have weathered storms and emerged stronger, to the warm-hearted locals who welcome us and share their stories, Gemaras embodies the true essence of Filipino hospitality. So sweet and creamy, it slips off of the skin and directly into his taste buds. Oh, I hate it when I vlog and I forget to turn on the microphone. Goodness, I'm so bright. Okay, take two. Now we're blurry. That sounded kind of cheesy. Yes, case in edition. <laughs> BTS, case in edition. Oh, this is fossilized. Fossilized. 